Infinity. It's November 19th, 2018, and it's time for Mondays with Bev and Paul. And hi, my name's oh. Paul. Hi, my name's Bev. And look, we have friends with us. Oh, so cute. <laughs> it all fits right with our little uh, question for today, which is, why is BioTouch a divine idea? Wow, good luck to us. <laughs> yes, good luck to us. We just love those little fingers, don't we? I know. Adorable. So welcome. We're glad you could join us today. And uh, we just want to let you know that this is also uh, being used on podcasts now. I love that. Yeah, I went to a little seminar and found out podcasts are like huge. So we take these videos and we put them in podcasts. So if you have any way that you listen to a podcast, plug us in. All you do is have to look at bio-touch, bio-touch. And it'll show all the different shows that we have. That's great. So we'll try to make sure that we do these shows as if somebody wasn't seeing us. So oh, you, yeah. you can't see those two little fingers with the heart, but they're gorgeous and cute. Yes. So uh, we do want to tell you about uh, there's a class happening in the Netherlands this weekend. Oh, that's great. Uh, yeah, this weekend, mm -hmm. 24th. And Howard up in Phoenix is doing a workshop in December, December 1st, uh, no, 8th and 9th. 9th. Ninth? Yeah, is it the ninth? Mm -hmm. And a massage therapists, if you know any massage therapists in the country that want to get some CE credits, best deal around. So yes. contact us for the workshop. And uh, let's see, we have a workshop coming up. No, a class. We have a class. Yes. When is that? It's is on December 1st and 2nd. 1st and 2nd, yes. Just get the, the end of the year, wrap it up. Last one of the Last year. Touch. In uh, 10 hours, you get the whole technique, and again, massage therapists can get 10 CE credits yeah, for that that's, class, that's and that's only 60 bucks. Right. I mean, if there ain't a better deal than that. There's not. Not to <laughs> mention, they get a, a whole wonderful tool yes. that they can now use. It's yeah. a tool whose time has come. So the question again, why is BioTouch a divine idea? And I'll tell you what triggered me to want to talk about that today. I was reading this morning uh, this email I get, uh, and it, it had a quote. It says this. It says, perhaps you think that different kinds of love are possible. Perhaps you think there is a kind of love for this, a kind of love for that. A way of loving one, a way of loving still another. Love is one. It has no separate parts and no degrees, no kinds, no levels, no divergencies, and no distinctions. It is like itself, unchanged throughout. It never alters with a person or a circumstance. Wow. Well, you know, as you were reading that, I couldn't help but think about BioTouch because we say many, many times, BioTouch breaks down all the barriers between us. Yeah. So, uh, you know, when we talk about this, let's go to our center to talk about it. Okay. All right. Boom. There we go. <laughs> so we're here at our center, and we want to talk about this divine idea um, that time has come. And, and it, we'll start with how you how this even came into being, because it was uh, how many years years ago when you were it, at a board meeting? I was at the annual board meeting uh, here at the center. Um, never been to a board meeting before. Decided for some reason to to come. And I remember at the end of it, the, the board itself asked every, all of us there if we could just go around the room and say one thing that comes to our mind about BioTouch as they're beginning to like get it more and more into the world. And I'll just say that at that time, I was working every other Saturday, <laughs> um, just uh, proud of myself, volunteering, <laughs> using BioTouch. Uh, <laughs> And this was in 2011, I think it was, wow. or, or the or the the one in 20, 2012, either one, it was very, you know, years ago. And when it got, got to me, and I remember sitting there going, oh my God, what do I say? I don't, I don't know. You know, I really wasn't that involved at the time. And out of the blue, this thing came into my mind and it said, BioTouch is a divine idea whose time has come. And I just, without thinking, said that. And I remember thinking, oh, my gosh, what have you just said? Because I really didn't know what I was saying. But evidently, at some level, I really did. Because that's when things changed. And I started becoming more involved and 
you asked me to step up and I became an instructor and it just it seemed to open the door and that truth for me I, I can see now that I when I spoke that that was something for us to hold and that's what we build it on and so even this this little quote I think it comes from a course in miracles it just it, when it talks about no levels, no distinctions, no differences, is really the reason, you know, I wanted to get involved with BioTouch. Mm -hmm. Because there are no levels. Everybody's effective. And we always say BioTouch is love, you know. And so, in a sense, that's what it's about. It's, a, it's an expression of that equality of all of us. Everyone on the planet, all humanity, mm. is equal in the ability to practice biotouch by just gently reaching out and touching another human being. Yeah. So, you know, when we talk about the divine idea of it, um, let's, let's just say that love, as, as this quote is implying, love is. It is. And we are love. And I, I, I think what's happening, for me anyway, when I say that BioTouch is a divine idea, you can't get much more divine than love. <laughs> because the whole sense of the whole universe is, is based in love. And we're, we're all trying to remember and recognize our true essence. And that, for me, is where BioTouch is, is being given as, as our gift to help each other <laughs> remember that th there's only love here. And it's interesting because when you talk about a divine idea, I, I'm, what goes in my brain is an idea. So it's a biotouch is a divine idea. And, and love, as far as all we can talk about even here, is an idea. Right. You know, we can't, we're like expressing the inexplicable. Express, that's, yeah. And, but biotouch is a way using this body, this divine thing that houses some divine thing in there yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. is an idea. And so we're not pretending to know anything. Oh, yet. heavens no. We're just talking about a divine idea. And BioTouch is a way to put that idea into application without having to yak about it. Yes. We don't have to have perceptions. We don't have to have, you know, philosophies. We don't have to, you know, pit one religion against another. This, this body is equal on the whole planet. Mm -hmm. Everybody mm -hmm. is equal with and, that. And the fact that one human being can literally reach out and touch, touch another human being is that just foundational way of saying to each other, we care about each other. We, we see each other with BioTouch. I see you. You know, I'm touching you on the skin and I am present with you. I think, you know, that's a foundational thought for me in terms of um, that connection that we all share with each other. We're not separated. So that takes us back to why BioTouch even became a public awareness. And we want to read from the book uh, written by Deborah Schildhouse. Uh, healing with the power in our fingertips and she uh, was interviewing me and there's a certain part of, of when the light bulb went out for me and Bev's going to read this section it's out of page and one this is actually a um, uh, the chapter was called a touching bond mm. yes and she's yeah asking you and and you say well you hadn't had one in a while I teased she says tell about this one and you say Cheryl and I were hanging out in Norman's living room when people started gossiping about two local feuding families. Apparently, the people involved had never gotten along in a similar way to the Hatfield-McCoy conflict. Members of the clans lived in the general facility but had avoided each other for decades to prevent bloodshed. Yet everyone was bewildered because whenever any of those family members happened to show up at Norman's at the same time, they were able to sit together, peacefully waiting their turn. Suddenly, an elderly rancher who'd been sitting with us got to his feet. He was one of the town's old timers. He looked at us and said, You want to know why those feuding clan members can sit together peacefully in this living room? It's because Norman and Carol brought love here, and people can feel it. Yep, Norman and Carol brought love to the Mancus Valley. 
Well, his words sent a shiver through me, Paul continued. Then I heard aha booming in my head. I immediately thought of the people in the world who were suffering, feeling alone and afraid, the common denominator of all humanity. But Norman's healing method eliminated pain, provided a sense of well-being, and delivered a form of love that people desperately needed. I couldn't imagine a better application of love by neighbor than that. Hmm. You know, I got involved with BioTouch not really because it healed bodies, but because it was a perfect expression of that statement, love thy neighbor. Mm. And, and, and starting in that little town in Mancus, Colorado, 900 people, for this international global revolution of bringing back this divine idea of love, mm. um, it, it just, I could not do it. You know, and yeah. just 30 years later, just continuing to present this idea, you know, and then the story of you is really funny how, you know, I mean, for years, we didn't even talk to each other. No. I'm like, who is that guy? Oh, he's the founder. Oh, that's Paul. Okay. You know, and here I'm so grateful to have you helping hold this idea. Oh, it's. As we present it. It's been a lot of my own life's work. So I think it was natural that we kind of got together because biotouch is important. We've said it before. And it, at this point in the history of humanity, in the world, this is like the best of times and the worst of times. But what's going to get us through is that discovering who we are. And if we could reach out and touch one another in times of pain and suffering, um, I, I agree with you. I think it goes way beyond just the body getting better. As you say, that's a benefit, but that divine essence of it is, is to unlock within ourselves using BioTouch, the remembering that we are here together to do this. We're, we're, we're not separated guys. We're here together to love each other and to do this. And so when people ask us, well, can you work on yourself with BioTouch? Mm -hmm. It's like, well, you know, you can, but, you know, sometimes it's effective, sometimes it's not. But the power of one person reaching out and touching another one directly on the skin, there's a connection. There's the power. Yes. There's the, the connection, yeah. the power of, of humanity. Right. Uh, when I went to Egypt and did a uh, presentation on a radio show there, and people were calling from all over the Middle Eastern countries, and it all had to be translated, but... You know, it's it's like we say, everyone who called in had the same problem. Yeah. They were all suffering. They were all afraid. And on a lot of levels, they all felt alone. Mm. This is humanity. Yes. Together, and experiencing something. Yeah. So if there ever was a time for a revolution, <sighs> you know, a revolution of love, you know, we're so connected now with this Internet. I know. You know, if something Amazing. happens somewhere across the planet and boom, we see it. We're there. We're That's part right. of it. That's right. You know, we're part of the of suffering all over. Mm -hmm. And so here's something we can do. And we can just do it with one another at home. You know, it's like people say, heal within to heal the planet. Right. Yeah. Do a little work within or do your circle as much as you can. Mm -hmm. And that creates a reverberation, a ripple effect. And I think the power, the other thing about BioTouch is how incredibly, what does it take? It takes a moment and you, you carry around with you that, um, the possibility and, and the gift of, of helping another person in, in the moment. Um, I think that is one of the things that got my attention. It's simple. You have it all the time. This is what's required. It, it doesn't take a bulldozer to move things out of the way in your life for you to be able to use it and to receive it. And that's really the power of BioTouch. It belongs already to us. You have the yeah. juice, as Paul says, yeah. you know, at any moment, at any time. And so what we want to read is, uh, you know, this book is wonderful. If you, if you have anybody, you know, this holiday season, it's a good book. You know, BioTouch, Healing with the Power in Our Fingertips. It's a timeless book, even though it's now three years on the shelves. You know, it's, it's timeless. And if you know of anybody that might be interested in 
taking responsibility for their own health care or sharing with someone in their family who's suffering from some disease or uh, some problem or just in pain or, you know, or even in transition, you know, and moving into the death and dying state. BioTouch can be helpful. And it's a great book because it's it's written for the masses of humanity. It's not technolo- technical. It, it's not a fluff thing. It's just Deborah's story about how she got involved. Mm. I've said before, this is a um, this is a human story that Deborah has written, and then bringing you into the the whole thing with your whole experience and your life. Um, this is you know your the path of your life is what a lot of us have been on. And so it really reverberates to the to the soul of us. And it's just it's beautiful. Yeah. So we want to read a little from the, uh, the, the foreword that was written by Dr. Gary Schwartz. And we always just love this little uh, paragraph here. It says the kind of love that BioTouch fosters is a high level of love, including empathy, compassion, caring, kindness, gentleness, protection, safety, warmth, gratitude, appreciation, and respect. As you explore Deborah's gracious and grateful book, my wish that you become filled, as I did, with the wonder and promise that BioTouch offers all of us, our loved ones, the greater humanity, and nature as a whole. Boy, Gary just got it. Yeah. I love that, what he wrote. And he wrote it from his heart. I could tell. It was Amazing. So no matter whatever you call it, you know, reach out, touch someone, contact us, justtouch.com, you know, participate with our loving fingers. Oh. <laughs> and now we want to share with you because we always want to make sure that you walk away having learned something. And so today we're going to teach you the sinus set. The sinus set may be used to address any conditions affecting the sinuses. To begin step one, First locate hold point X by following the bone right behind the ear down to its tip at the bottom of the skull and sliding the fingers back slightly. X is the flat area just behind the tip of the bone at the base of the skull. Step 1 is performed in crossfire, so hold at X on one side of the head and touch points 1 through 3 on the opposite side of the head. Point 1 is just above the eyebrow where the brow and nose meet. Point two is the most prominent point of the cheekbone below the outside corner of the eye. Point three is below the inside corner of the eye where the nose and the cheek meet. Now find hold point X on the other side of the head and again in crossfire touch point one just above the eyebrow where the brow and nose meet. Point two, the most prominent point of the cheekbone below the outside corner of the eye. And point three, just below the inside corner of the eye where the nose and cheek meet. Step two, in matching fire, touch points one and one. Two and two. three and three, and X and X. Well, there you go. Very simple. Simple to do. We did it. Another 20 minutes of a divine idea to present with you. Yeah. And if you're part of our uh, family out there that's uh, watching us from the United States, uh, we have Thanksgiving coming up. We do. And if you're not here in the United States, we are still thankful and grateful for all of you in sharing BioTouch with us. I know. It's amazing. And I'm grateful to you. I'm grateful for you. Thank you Thank for you. sharing BioTouch oh, with me and the yes. all of humanity. Yes. So again, all we... Uh, 
have another, it was another great show. I know. If you have any questions, contact us. Otherwise, we'll see you all next week. We will. Have a glorious week and happy Thanksgiving, everyone. All around to the sun, they come here every day. They do a lot of touching and they do it without pain. They all do it gladly because they are so sweet. Let's